Okay, here's another part video. So you can see, this came actually pretty fast. This is the uh, driver's side door lock for the Mazda 3. Now, I called the local uh, Mazda dealer. They said, depending on the VIN or whatever, it was for between 150 and 200 plus dollars for something like this. Now, I don't need the actual door latch. The door latch works. What I need is the cable. They told me that they don't sell the cable separately, so you have to buy this whole thing. Which sucks because, let me see, if we look over here, I think you can just remove those or just maybe one screw and remove the cable and use that. That's what I need. It is for a Mazda. I don't, I'll test it out when I install it. Um, I have to take the other one out anyways. But uh, I'll plug the the uh, I'll plug this one in, test it out before I even take the other one out, just to see how it does. I'm not gonna be using it. I'm gonna keep the original or OEM that's there because it works. Because all I need is the cable. So you know what? While I'm here, let me take this off and pause the video and come back and show you that if I can. All right, here is the second part. You do have two um, T20 screws, Torx 20. So one's here and one's here. But once you take the cover off, guess what? You should be able to remove the cables from here and from here because this one's going into this plastic piece and this one is actually the one that pulls that. So they're both different, this one Pulls it that way and that one pulls it like a bicycle cable so yeah you should be able to just grab the cables from pretty much any Mazda door lock now unfortunately I threw away my old one when I did the rear door and I was kicking myself for it because I could have used those cables the cables were fine but I ended up ordering this one because Believe it or not, it was 30 bucks cheap to me. And I got the cables and I got a brand new uh, door lock. So the dealership prices, you know, they really got to work on that uh, and make them more sensible because there's no way you need to pay that much. And I mean, yeah, everybody says OEM is fine, but you know, if if you can't afford it or you for whatever reason it's just out of the budget for something like this you can go to the junkyard or just get it brand new from uh, I don't know Aliexpress or wherever online wherever you can find it but um, I thought I showed this because it's just a very simple cable and I need that end that's broken that I show that on one of my other videos when I took the uh, panel off and I was doing the uh, sound deadening, but now I got the clips, now I got this, so I just got to do it. Um, you know, sometimes you can save, not all the time, but this is something you can't save on, so hopefully that helps.